Good evening, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Good evening. We're going to open the Georgetown Planning Board September 26, 2018. Uh, present today is Joanne Lout and Bob Watts, and myself is Tilly Evangelista. May I have a motion for the minutes of September 13th? I uh, move to approve the draft meeting minutes uh, for 12 sep September 8th, 2018, planning board meeting as written pending discussion. I, I'm moving for that, even though I'm not eligible to vote on it. <laughs> second. I second. <laughs> discussion? Do you have any discussion? No. no. Uh, actually, the, the question I did have was, what's the next step for uh, Parish Road? Uh, the next step is, um, they have to answer some questions. <laughs> yes, yeah. So they're coming back at our next meeting. And as far as we know, they're going to be coming back with the same plan that they... Yes. Okay. Yep. They, they asked for a continuance because we did not have a full board. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank Do you. we have a vote, please? Aye. 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 Thank you. And we have two... We have one voucher. Can make a motion to pay that bill. Uh, I move to approve the voucher for legal ads for public hearing uh, for Healthy Farms Recreational Marijuana uh, placed on August 3rd and August 10th, 2018 for $133.60. I have a second. Thank you. Any discussion? No. You ready to vote? Aye. 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 Uh, the, we have uh, two correspondents, one from the town of Newberry. Uh, and one from Boxford. Uh, we have two, we have one public hearing scheduled for Healthy Farms. Um, would you like to proceed? Oh, uh, uh, no one is here for Healthy Farms. Um, isn't that, you look a little like it. I'm no, sorry. No. Where are you, what are you for? Well, we're actually from Rally. We're here for Oh, you are? Yeah. Uh, huh. um, you know, may I, Ms. Chim? Go. Um, you know, with three members present as opposed to a full board of five, yeah. um, they chose to um, ask for a continuance oh, okay. Uh, okay. for this evening. Okay. So um, what the board um, will most likely vote on is a continuance till the uh, October 10th meeting. That's our next uh, scheduled meeting. Okay. I have a motion. Sorry about that, but uh, we're continuance. Uh, Madam Chairman, I move that we continue the hearing for uh, Healthy Farms special permit for the purpose of Tier Four indoor cultivator marijuana establishment and retail to retail marijuana establishment to include medical marijuana and adult use marijuana sales and manufacturing mar as a ma manufacturing marijuana establishment. Um, to be continued until um, 10 October at um, 7 10. Okay, thank you. I second. We have a vote. Aye. 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 And again, we'll probably want to hold on to these, or should I just put it back in the pack? Um, yeah, you can hold yeah. on to them. Hold on to yeah. them. Yeah. It'll be the same thing next week. Okay. Um, we the next thing on our agenda is uh, 198 East Main Street OSRD for a proposed turnaround modification. Mr. Rosen. Uh, Madam Chairman, if I could, um, sure. we don't have an overhead tonight because um, the system's going through an update. So oh, what is it? It's still updating. You need easel? My son stole mine, so I can just. <laughs> <laughs> Use the <a> chair. <laughs> you got the chair. Sons are like that, aren't they? Do they uh, take everything from dads? I know, I certainly was. <laughs> <laughs> what I've done, I, I have met with the fire chief out at the, the site, and if, uh, just to go back a little, uh, when we came in for approval, we agreed to put a temporary uh, an emergency access easement from where the driveway and parking area ends over to the town's land that abuts the park and rec. Mm -hmm. 
And <clears throat> over the original plan, we had a turnaround up here coming down the road. Mm -hmm. But in talking to him and thinking about it, I thought it would be better to put it here because it's closer to this access. And uh, it also has a few other advantages. One, with the turnaround here, I'd be taking down four or five trees and disturbing this area. And you're going to come down here and see this straight away. <laughs> mm. uh, so what I've done is we've revised this. This uh, <laughs> try to move this a closer. Existing paving, not paving, but uh, gravel. is about here, so most of this area is disturbed anyway. And <clears throat> this area over here is going to get disturbed because that's where my septic system is going. So what we came up with was to loop this in here and loop this back here, and I uh, have a 100-foot radius, which is what he requested. I think yours is less. But for his uh, yeah, the ladder truck, it's like 40 feet long. And along a bigger radius. So the idea would be they could come down here, back in this strip, back around, and come back out. And for that, because I was going to have to do something here, I'll gravel this easement all the way to the town line. That would be great. And then uh, when the town decides to do something, there's some land that has to, there's a field over here for the Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. So the town would have to do something on the other side of the stone wall for about 20 or 30 feet if they wanted to get in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's unlikely anyone's ever going to use it, but you never if know. there was an accident out on East Main Street at the front of the church and yeah. you couldn't get in there, yeah. I don't think there's any other way in. Do, do you know if that's the church's property? Uh, no, it doesn't go to the church's property. Okay. There's a and bring this up for a second. I, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. The church is, see this line here? Mm -hmm. That's the town. This is the church. Oh, oh, I see. So the town bought a chunk of land out, way out there from the church for the park and rec. So it goes on to town land. We have to curve a little to miss the buffer zone, but unless. You get some cooperation from the conservation so It's right on the edge of it. Right. So it's not like it's filling the wetland or any of that thing. So basically it's because of your septic that you wanted to change it? No. No? No, it's because it made more sense to have it closer to where the access is. So that if they were in here, they didn't have to back where the hell, excuse me, on TV, where the heck up here and then do that. They just mm. they can come out, take a couple of swings and come back out again. Okay. Instead of, that's okay. about 400 feet. Mm. So it's just a little, and it also saves me from disturbing that, which mm. that's basically the tree line of the property. Mm. <clears throat> and the property next to me, the Randos. What would, what would it take and how much would it cost for us to extend it on the town land? Do I don't know. Idea? I, to, to get to where there's no trees, I'm yeah. not sure. I could ask my contractor, but... Yeah, that would be a help to know. Yeah. Because that ought to be done. Yeah, well, I'm not sure if the chief talked to Peter or not, but I suggested him he did. Because mm -hmm. Peter could get in there and do something quickly. Right, right. Yeah, because if, I mean, the Boy Scouts are in there, they need to get an ambulance up there and stuff. Yeah. Right. It's unlikely because you get access in front of the church. But, I mean, we actually proposed it. It wasn't something the board asked for. Yeah, but I know. I lived there, and if there was a crash at, there's all kinds of crashes on East Main Street, at the church, and somebody was hurt, right. can't, that's the only access to the park and rec land yeah. Yeah. currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. But that is the park and rec land that they're, yeah, where this they're is. building the... Uh, right, I'm not sure where the line goes after that. I think it goes up here. Right, but that's so where they're building the ballpark and the... Dog well, the, that stuff's that. way out back. But it's that, it's that same property. It's the same property. Yeah, yeah. So they built? could go across the field. Well, like part of it's built. And yeah, part it's of it's built. built. Yeah. And hit this driveway over there. And it's a long ride, but it's also good for the Boy Scouts because right. they hang out right in here. Right. Yeah, that would be right great. <laughs>
So that was a minor modification we were requesting. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We did meet at the site a long time ago in May with John and Larry and How's the house coming along? Finally being framed. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to find contractors. Well, I waited for this guy uh -huh. on purpose. I do engineering on houses and I know good framers and not so good framers. Any other questions from the board? Nope. You're all side aside. John, do you have a comment? Uh, the only comment I do have is um, the fire chief, we do have um, his recommendation. He had no problem with it, and that was included with the uh, staff report. And there is a draft motion to the effect of um, providing for this um, modification. That's at the uh, bottom of the uh, first page. It's a little bit lengthier than I know what this is like, but <laughs> sometimes you just can't avoid it. Okay. So. That's and I know you like that. It's yeah. <laughs> That's short compared to some of those. <laughs> Do we have that though? That's uh, yeah. Do you have That's it? Oh. First page. No, this is the you anymore. Lost oh, it. I know. I don't think I ever had it. Yeah, you got I have a, the dodge, the correspondence, and then the minutes. Here it is. Oh, there we go. I did see it. So right. why don't you, you want to read it? I'll read it. If you want to read you read it. it. Uh, let it, let it to read it get some practice. Sure. Go for it, Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> the draft motion I'm reading. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> I move to approve the proposed turnaround location for the 198 East Main Street two lot OSRD plan as shown on the plan entitled Proposed Modification of Turnaround Location. Sheet 101, which shall supersede the turnaround location and design as shown on the original approved plan of record entitled OSRD Def Definitive Subdivision Plan of 199 East Main Street in Georgetown, Mass. Okay. Thank you. Second? Second. Are we ready to vote? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sure. getting a hold of you. We should be starting something out front. <laughs> Try to get water in before Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you might I want to talk to Larry so. directly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just okay. in case. Okay. Uh, oh, we have our uh, selectmen in the audience. Yes. Mm. Whatever. Fine selectmen. Yeah. Gary, do you want uh, anything to present to us? No, i am got another meeting at 7.30, so I thought I'd come up and... <laughs> Rest? Keep us company, party. thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Gary. He is a politician, isn't he? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, next next is our A&R for 14 Spofford Avenue and 7 Pine Grove Avenue. Here's the handbook of the land use and planning, this thing. Oh, yeah. But if you want to do that, obviously. Okay, you know, I'll get, get rid of that next. Thank you. Sure. I just want to. Okay. Okay. So you're uh, up. Come on up. Come on up. Name and address for the record. Uh, Zachary Drapeau. And uh, I'm here to represent uh, my father of 14 Spofford Ave. And uh, let's see here. So they, I know, uh, I'm, excuse my lack of knowledge on the, the matter here, but. Uh, my father, we had a death in the family, and my father and uh, stepmother are kind of uh, closing the loops on a couple of things here. Um, but Your father uh, is still alive, right? My father's, yeah. yeah. It was uh, my grandfather. Oh. So I know uh, he had told me that the uh, last uh, I had heard, the building inspector had approved the um, setback on the pool, which uh, was close to the... To the uh, I guess you would call it the Main Street side boundary line. And uh, the other one was the water, whether it be city water or well water. And due to cost implications, uh, they've decided to go with a well water uh, option just because of the cost to get city water down Pine Grove Ave. 
so you you didn't you didn't complete that in the application of of what you're discussing now. There's nothing about that in your application. I didn't see I didn't see anything about water. Yeah, what well, can you explain here's the plan, explain what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, I think, and John, correct me if I'm wrong, but the scope of our conversation really is the movement of that lot line. Yeah. Yeah. And right. It, if you bring in bottled water, God bless you. Oh, fair enough. And as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so, this the pool here was originally going to be taken down, but then uh, my father had spoken to the building inspector. And they'd gone back and forth, and he had approved keeping it there because of some permitting issues. Um, it sounded like it was grandfathered. That correct. Had been there for correct. quite some time. Yeah. Mm. So that that has been approved, and then uh, yes, I believe the the purpose of this would be to move this that lot line from its position where it is now back to allow for the proper uh, setbacks. And your father owns both of these lots. Correct. He owns both of them, and they're, oh, they're okay. two separate deeded right. uh, parcels. Gotcha. But that that line, if it was only drawn because of that pool, you didn't need to do that. It was grandfathered where it was. I think so his, his intent yeah. here, his intent is to sell the Seven Pine Grove Ave okay. lot. All right. So right now he owns 14 Spofford in Seven Pine Grove. Okay. And in order to eliminate the removal of the pool and um, or access to a third of the pool. Correct. <laughs> correct. He sense. is proposing to shift this lot line back, <coughs> sell Seven Pine Grove Ave as a separate lot with a little bit less land. With a little bit less land, correct. So he can keep his pool. Yeah, but you, yeah. You've got you've got more than enough to meet the zoning. Yep. Yeah. You got zoning is only fifteen thousand square feet in this district. Yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna have remaining twenty thousand. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that will leave uh, lot one with seventeen thousand. So he's got more than an ample. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Any questions? John, what about you? Um, well, I, I did go over everything with Les, and I did get a communication, as I promised um, I would, in the staff report, and I went over that with um, Tilly today and a couple of emails. But um, bottom line is the pool was permitted in uh, 2006, and by state statute, if you do have a permit for the structure that has actual actually a zoning um, encroachment. Um, it, you only need six years for that to be in place to basically have it grandfathered, legal, non-conforming because of state statute. If it didn't have a permit, after 10 years, the pool would be grandfathered as a legal non-conforming. So even though, you know, when I first looked at it, as most people would look at it and say, hey, there's a problem with the side setback for the pool. You know, you're supposed to have a side setback of 15 feet. Mm -hmm. Here you're talking uh, about four feet. But because it did have a permit, and it's been over six years, it's... Um, it's all grandfather. Yeah. 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 And then there are no other lot lines being created, no new setback issues being created with this plan. It's just the addition of 3,132 square feet being added uh, to lot one, which is the 14 Spofford Ave property. And then um, that same amount of land being taken from Seven Pine Grove lot. Again, that lot is owned by the same party. And that new lot, lot two, would consist of 20,334 square feet. Which is large enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then the other remaining issue is that um, regardless of any type of structural setback problems. Um, we as a planning board in endorsing this A&R plan, by endorsing it, we're not saying that the plan complies with zoning. And case law has been provided in this regard, um, Tilly has a copy of it, but for A&R plans, 
courts prescribe that one of three notes mm -hmm. be inscribed on a plan relative to making sure that people realize that um, the planning board's endorsement does not mean that the plan complies with all zoning requirements. So you're so, going to write that down. Yeah, well, the note is on the plan, and yeah. the note is endorsement by the planning board is not a determination as to conformance with zoning regulations. Mm -hmm. So that's right in the uh, right above the um, yeah. signature right. block. Mm -hmm. Where the note is on the bottom. Gotcha. Just you know, just as a lesson, when when people will do the title search when they're Hmm. buying lot two whoever buys that um, that note should automatically be picked up by the uh, title company that's doing the research of the property so. thank you Tom. yeah okay. so is there any questions about that Can we? no if if they in fact had come in with you know a registered plan better than evidently they did to the building inspector he would have found out that this is 11 feet short to our zoning side dimension. But evidently, somehow, he got the permit. The building inspector, had he recognized <coughs> that error, he would have sent them right away to the zoning board if he, if in fact, or they would have to find another place mm -hmm. to put that pool. You know, many people complain, you know, try to do engineer plans and all that. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> Especially when you're selling parcels, mm -hmm. you know, the banks are going to be fussy about it. Yeah. But also, back when the pool was built, how much was really followed? How many rules and regs were, there, were they being enforced? The same right. ones. 1973, our zoning in Georgetown really? has been on the books. Okay. So it hasn't changed the districts or... Maybe it's better enforcing of it now. <laughs> No, they've been they've been enforcing things for a long time. Yeah, but you know when you own both parcels too, and you you know you're not thinking in the future that you right. You right. probably wasn't really thinking yeah. that he was going to sell it. And, you know, no, it wasn't pool wouldn't that. last that long or whatever. But here we are, 2018, and he wants to do something. And now he has to make that lot line adjustment. And I can't picture the father going into this pool. <laughs> Occasionally, he does. Oh yeah, on a hot summer day, he'll jump in. Oh, you got a hot tub? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There are two draft motions on page two. Um, the first one is the acceptance of the uh, application, and then the, the other one is the um, actual motion to approve. Uh, board wants to consider The application that. being for May. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ready to hear a motion? Ready. I move to accept the submitted for May application for 14 Spofford Avenue and 7 Pine Grove Avenue. Second. Second. Are we ready for vote? Any discussion? Nope. Further discussion? Ready for vote? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. And now I move to endorse the Form A application for 14 okay. Spofford Avenue and 7 Pine Grove Avenue. Showing the town assessor's map 6D lots 19 and 24 respectively. The subject application calls for transferring parcel area equal 3,132 square feet from lot 19 to lot 24 as shown in the plan of record entitled Lot Line Adjustment Plan at Spofford Avenue, Pine Grove Avenue in Georgetown, Massachusetts, prepared by Atlantic Engineering and Survey Consultants, 97 Tenney Street, Georgetown, Massachusetts, 01833, date 4, September 2018, no revision date, and consisting of sheet 1 of 1. It is a little wordy. Yeah. But Second, please. Second. Rob wasn't going to be here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to vote? Aye. 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 So it's all set to endorse? Yes. Great. We could do that this evening. This copy here. Want to do that now? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. If you hang around, we'll do it again. Okay. Well, we actually. With the AR plan, until we get the board actually, all the members do sign it. Mm. Desert three signatures. Yeah, you. 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 Yeah
Yeah, yeah you'll be passing my students on. And the, the cost, these costs come out of the account, right? Yeah. Yep. That's kind of you. I know it didn't work for me. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Do you want to use this one worked? Okay. Okay. Did I give you the, the real pen? I don't. I don't know. It looks a little different. Um, no, that's not the one. Okay. Um, and you um, a black pen. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, I think I squeezed the last life out of that pen. I thought it because I was a lefty. <laughs> oh, Sometimes yeah. things don't work because I'm a lefty. Absolutely, absolutely. It's because you're sinister. No. <laughs> Isn't that what sinister that means, though? Special. S sinister. <laughs> As I say, okay, left, you want to go over yeah. anything? I learned that. Uh, we could just date that um, to this date, which is no, I didn't. 26. It is done. Thank you. Perfect. Again, I apologize for the blabbering confusion at first, but uh, we are here to. We're help used to you. that. <laughs> here to help you. It's a, it's you did pretty good. I've never seen you here before. He so. called me. Uh, he called me at like six o'clock. I know, really. This morning or less? No, like an hour ago. Oh, this is what you're doing. He said, "Hey, I need you to run downtown." You're a good son. Oh, you did a great yeah, job. A good, very good son. My, my son would have said, what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This, you need this one? This is the original. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Good night. Good night. Say hello to Dad. I will. I'll call him on my way out. <laughs> all right. So now, uh, we'll the handbook. We're going to talk about that. Uh, it's a very, it's a, it's a great. He's a good writer. I, I, I remember his name. I'm surprised he's still around. <laughs> Barry, he like do last Barry a long time, some more than others. <laughs> we worked on his book to do the Tower Bylaw, and we went to a workshop, and he's he really knows his stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the first. Um, New, the newest edition since 2011. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. Um, the question is, do we want to um, purchase one of the books? Yeah, I would <coughs> say yes, but have you got it in the budget? Well, you know what? Um, I wanted to get the board's feel for this, and you know, and if you'd like me to move forward, I'll, I'll look and make sure we have. How does the I board would think feel? so. We should at least have one copy. Yeah. And, and actually, I would suggest that we get an electronic copy. So that we have both. We can do a search. And that that might be a you good can idea. Probably get both, yeah. But um, the idea that, that that we would be able to search mm. on terms, uh, we might be able to um, mm. do better analysis. Sounds good. Four fifty nine for up to three users to access from anywhere at any time with extensive hyperlinks, which is a very powerful uh, feature to uh, mm -hmm. access full text of all case law. And other primary laws cited for unlimited use, and if I'm not mistaken, frequently we'll see something, but we'll really need to know what the case law is behind it. Mm. You know, what what does it mean? So, it's that, a good tool, I would say. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it, but it mm. sounds uh, like it's about oh, yeah. uh, four hundred fifty-nine dollars worth. <laughs> I remember the tower one was like this. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you know what a bundle is? Is that maybe one, one hard copy and one online? Yeah. Well, the bundle the bundle is both. It, so you'd get four copies in the uh, online. Let's see. 
four copies in online. Wow. That would be a good deal. Yeah. Right? I think it would be worth it. Especially, you know, hopefully new people will get on. And, and then you'll be using it for a good number of years. A yeah. reference. Oh, yeah. He's not going to. It took him a long time to get this far, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's he's done several workshops I've attended and was a speaker and yeah he's he's a big asset for the state. You know what um, one, one of the books that I uncovered today is the A and R Handbook that was authored oh. mainly by uh, Don Schmidt. Yeah. So I, I can send that. That's that's an old one. Really. Yeah. yeah it, it still has the pertinent case yeah. law though. You, you know the reasons why. You right. Know, and it came in handy. This, this evening's um, right yeah. clarifies things. Yeah, I'd like to pick up the uh, the court cases that we have. You know, you have the hard copies. See, I'm a I like the paper yet. I'm not into mm -hmm. getting on there. So I'd like yeah, to know, you know if we could make borrow a copy it. of that for everybody. That it's a 90 page document on double sided. Oh yeah, do that yeah, because it's free online. I think it'll be A and R is the most court cases they have is that at bylaw, and yeah. it's a state law. Yeah, mm. and so if you don't keep up with what the judges have decided to do, you really don't know, based on reading the law, how far you can go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? yet totally confusing for <laughs> a very, very kind of a simple topic. Yeah, you know. and sometimes the judges will contradict each other from case to case. No, that never happens. <laughs> So you you run into that too. If you get a, depending on what judge, and believe me, the lawyers know which judges to go to. <laughs> all right, did we cover it all, John? We did, we did. Yeah, right. and um, you know, I'll look into seeing what money we have available and you know, try to make sure we get get our money's worth. And thank you. And um, it is a short agenda because um, we would have had our hands full dealing with um, healthy farms. Yeah, and, um, they chose to wait and see if we can get a full membership it makes sense at our last now uh, next meeting yeah. and then we have a um, stormwater uh, ad hoc committee meeting October the 3rd yeah next week yeah yeah um, I'm in the process right now of trying to complete the NOI that has to be submitted between now and close oh. of business on Monday Ooh. that's the deadline yeah but you know I have pretty much all the information we need in so right. that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and Monday yeah. See if I can get it done. This is an NOI for? Um, it's for MS4. It's for storm water. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's nothing to do with us. Mm. Yeah, it is. MS4, There's, we have to. Well, it, it has to do with us in, in accordance with subdivisions we approve and site plans. Gotcha. So any, re, any plans we review, um, a major component of them is to make sure that the Drainage design, the stormwater drainage design, right. is that makes sense. designed in a manner that can handle the capacity treatment mm. and where it's going. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a big thing. It's it, like we discussed before. MS4 is a federal law, so it's the last of the uh, Clean Waters Act. Mm -hmm. You know where a lot of the pollutants that are going into our water bodies, groundwater and surface waters you know we, we just have to take care of that last leg so it's being it's being created by rooftops uh, parking lots roadways you know it's going into these culverts and the whole idea is to get that last chain of pollutants that are going into our wetlands Out of under it, control yeah. and yeah. treated before they get there and into our water lines yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah just the whole big effort to protect our groundwater what we have and surface waters okay is there anything else that I was wondering um, how we're doing with uh, the bylaws. Remember? The storm drain one. No, I mean there there were there have been many amendments over the years, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah. they haven't all been folded in. Yeah, um, in accordance with board action of the last several months, I, I sent the letter um, to the board of selectmen. That was the last action of the planning board, and that was the second letter I sent in the last year on the subject matter. Um, I had a chance to meet with the Board of Selectmen um, on the National Lab property on Monday to bring them up to speed with the present status of that. And uh, at the end of that conversation, I was actually given the opportunity to talk to them about um, updating the zoning ordinance. I don't know if they had a chance to see that. Um, but um, I, 
definitely got the point across and they really understand the issue now. It's ultimately important for the town to have an updated zoning ordinance, uh, particularly on its website, but to also have hard copies available uh, for the public, whether they're interested residents in zoning or attorneys and engineers. They, they really do need that document. Mm -hmm. It's like having the Constitution written on cocktail napkins. I mean, it cannot right. be. Yeah. Really yeah, there's a few be. missing puzzle pieces, and, you know, <laughs> it's important to have the, everything codified correctly. Right. And Collated up. and put together. So they understand that now. We're going to try to get the funding available for that cool. to happen. Cool. But you, you think that there is some positive movement with yep. the VOS? Yeah. Excellent. Wonderful. Once we get the money in the budget. If you get yeah. a chance to watch the the end of my presentation yeah. on that with them for Monday night's meeting. Right. Yeah. You might say, well, he did get his point across. Okay. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So it might not get into this this year, but next year it should be. You should make a note on your computer, January oh, budget I'm, time, put it money in. Yeah. yeah we, we do <laughs> have to achieve it. You know. And it's it just, should be it's shared. Something, it nods on the back of your neck because you know it's not right. Right. It's not on the website where it's supposed to be. Right. Yeah. But it should be a shared expense. You know, everybody in the building here uses it. And we're right. It's a town government. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who wants to put up a chicken coop needs to <laughs> look at it. Yeah, it. You know, and it's great because people have <coughs> questions all the time, you know, and they're calling up. And when you can refer them to the website and, you know, Mm. Yes, that is up to date. That is accurate. You know, you, this subject, you, all you have to do is punch mm. it in with the word you're looking for, and there's mm. word search, um, you know, section search. You should be able to, you should be able to find it. You know, and if you have any questions, please get back in touch with me. And once, you, once you, we do get that. I noticed on the, on the planning board's website, uh, I couldn't find where we could key in and get it. I've been using. The police department. I go in the police department, and I look on their um, collection of uh, webs. What do you call Little them? Documents. Yeah, and uh, that's where I get the general law, mass general law, and and uh, Georgetown's law. Mm -hmm. And I can key in on that, but I didn't recognize it on the planning board website. On the planning board. So you go into the planning board website, and then on the left hand column, dark blue, um, white lettering. Mm -hmm. You'll see all the documentation that we have, my maps, and it makes reference yeah. to the zoning ordinance, right. uh, the master plan, and uh, uh, several other documents. Yeah, but I don't think the code is listed. No, it is. Oh, so, it is. Yeah, all right, so, I'll look so again. So, you know, it's a zoning ordinance, right? So you click yeah. that. Yeah. And then all the codes come up, mm. all the bylaws for right. the community. So you, you go down that column to 165. Mm. And That'll give you the zoning ordinance. Yeah. And then you get out further, 365, and that's um, subdivision rules and regulations. Yeah. But everything's listed in there. See, that's general code. Right. You know, and so part of this whole thing is not just the zoning ordinance, it's all of our. All rights. of it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and as I explained to the Board of Selectmen, it's a, it's a maintenance issue, it's an annual maintenance issue mm. that has to be taken care of uh, by the municipality every year. Right. And, the maintenance cost for general code to update Absolutely. all of the zoning changes in accordance with what's passed at town meeting, mm. um, you know, it's typically in the fifteen hundred dollar range. So mm. that should be an annual cost put into the budget, and right. uh, you know, the actual task of sending all of the amendments to general code that has to be assigned to somebody. That's right. It, it used to be the selectman. Yeah. Is a guy. It used, who to be, it used to be me in, in Hudson. You know, yeah. in particular, so you know, yeah. you, you gotta, you, somebody's got to do it. I, I mm. have no problem doing it, um, yeah. and um, you know, it's just it's one of those tasks. Yeah, and, it, and I'll, I'll tell you, as as a guy who uh, de developed software systems over forty years, uh, it is so good to hear someone say, and the maintenance of it, mm. because <laughs> it's a big cost that is always there, and. It's not a one-off to get it all straightened up. Mm. It's to get it all straightened up and then ha execute a process.
to keep it straightened up. Because if you don't maintain it, it's just worthless, then really, after it, a while. Following Tuesday, <laughs> it becomes junk. What yeah. happens is we don't do it for, say, five or how long? Five or seven years? And it's such a huge task. Then it's right. expensive. They're, gonna, they're not going to give you the 1500 well, a year. You're right. It's, it's yeah. you know, almost that thick now of pages. You're not you know. saving anything, really. You're just, you know, and you're causing all this uh, insecurity that we have the accurate bylaws there. Right. And um, I mean, it's the it doesn't, it, you know, it's going to cost us more. In other words, we'll be lucky to get it at fifteen hundred a year. And that's the key to well, that's the, the key first to budgeting maintenance because it costs you a lot yeah. less mm. if you do that. If you keep up, then if you pass. La last year, I did get a cost estimate, and this was last year, and we did pass a lot of pages of amendments this year, but it was between four and five to get us up to speed. Mm. That was last year, and this year, probably another. At least another thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're talking five to six thousand to get this thing wow. straightened out, and then every year thereafter, it's fifteen hundred dollars. Mm. You know, but it's like mind maps. Right. You know. Um, yeah. And it's and it's almost all of the towns have this code book oh, set yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, every, they all use almost it. Almost every town in Massachusetts and you know throughout the country, mm. it's general code. That's what they're set up for. That's right. what they're in business for to keeping all keeping all these zoning ordinances up to date mm -hmm. bylaws so. any other comments from our board the peanut thing yeah they, no no <laughs> so are we ready to close up i yeah. move that we i second one of our earlier all in meetings all favor aye aye, aye. aye. thank what you yeah mm.